Greetings programs. Today's tutorial comes by way of request from Calvin Mosher, hope I got the name pronounced right, and Girk the Burp, and that is how do you do fast and slow motion in Cinelera? So let's find out. I got a clip all ready to go. Let's paste it on in and get started. Okay, the clip we have here is dancing on grandpa. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> so the effect we're going to use for the video is Reframe RT. So let's grab it, pop it over onto our video track, and remember you can highlight a specific section and drop it onto there, or you can right click and attach effect. Doesn't really matter, the effect will get there. We're going to click on the magnifying glass, put this up here. Okay, anything greater than one is going to be faster. Anything less than one is going to be slower. So we're going to stretch always, regardless of which direction we're going, into two times as fast. Now, I don't know about you, but if I change the video, usually I don't have any audio going on underneath it. So this isn't something that I usually do. But let's take a look at the video. <laughs> and now the kids are just like vibrating their molecules. But the audio is still the same. So you can either cut out the audio. Now I don't know how to make the chipmunk audio or the slow motion audio. Uh, the pitch will remain the same with this method, but the duration and speed will change to match what you're doing. I'll show you how to do the slow motion audio and fast motion to go with the video and a men coder trick later. But let's go over to our audio effects. And the thing we're going to want to do is time stretch. So we grab that, drag it on over to our audio, and deposit it. Now, when you're using the same effect on more than one track, you don't want to have to go in and tweak the track twice. So, we're going to right click, attach effect. I've already got the effect up on this track, so we're going to use that same effect in settings on audio 2. That way we only have to do one tweak. And let me tell you, before you go in and apply this, make sure you're not peeking over here in your audio or you are in for some horrific screeching out of your speakers. Now, to set the effect, it's going to be the exact opposite because you're thinking of, you know, compressing or stretching the audio. So, in that sense, 0.5 is going to be squishing it to half its normal size, whereas, you know, 2 would be stretching it out. So, this is going to make it faster. So, we're good to go there. 0.5 equals twice as fast. So now let's listen to what we have. There we go. And we've done it. Now you'll notice that if we go about halfway down our clip to like around 15 seconds, it stops. Well, that's because it's played already. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here, we're going to find out where it actually stops. Let's say right there. We're going to enable our keyframes. We're going to have that be our out point. We're going to go back about a second and a half. Have that be where the fade starts. We're not going to worry about the S curve because we already know how to straighten the default S curve. And where this starts is going to be where we're going to want to put our next clip so that it fades and shows what is underneath. So let's add a video track. And again, we want this underneath this track as it fades out, so we're going to right click on this track, tell it to move up. Now we've arranged them correctly. Let's add two audio tracks. Let's disarm video one and audio one and two. And let's pop in clip number two right there paste and let's see what we got <laughs> so 
got some fast motion and a little change on into regular motion with the audio matching. And that is how you do fast motion in Zenalera. So how do we do slow motion? Slow motion in Zenalera is pretty much the same way. Let's just go to the beginning of our project here. Right click on clip 2. Paste that in. Okay. So we got this little thing of Aiden running like a maniac through the living room. So we're going to go over here to our video effects. Once again, we're going to choose Reframe RT. Click on it, drag it over to there. This time, we want to slow it down. So instead of doing a 2 there, We're going to do a 0.5 stretch. Now, we've got this. <laughs> but we still have the audio going in regular time. So first thing we're going to want to do is, since we have actually made this twice as long as it's supposed to be, normally it's in 10 seconds. So it's good to think of the effect as how long your clip is going to be rather than the actual clip here because the clip here shows that we've got you know 10 seconds of roll but we know we've got about 20 but as far as Cinelera is concerned 10 seconds is it so what you want to do here is get yourself to a window that is going to give you a comfortable amount of time to work in we're going to grab the effect by making our little arrow inside here over the effect and we're going to drag this out to about 20 seconds just the effect now we have got a clip that goes slow motion the whole way okay we're done with the video so let's deselect that. Now we got to figure out something to do with the audio. The audio is again largely the same except for the fact that the audio is going to respond to however much roll you have and it's going to stop. So regardless of where we drag the effect to, 10 seconds is all the audio we're going to have when we finish doing the effect on it. That's an important thing to keep in mind. So what you actually want to do is, now that we know how far out our video needs to go, we're going to click inside our audio track and drag it to the same point. There we go. Now we're ready to put our audio effect on. And if you remember right, time stretch is what we're going to use. Grab it, drag it on over there, and drop it. Now, this time we're going to want to go in the opposite direction because we're going in fast motion. Uh, so do this as good as you can. Set that sucker right on to let go. Close it. Don't forget to apply it to the second track as well. So now let's take a look at what we've got. <laughs> and that's what we got going on. Now something that you want to keep in mind here is we've got a lot of interlacing here. So effects, just like the tracks, stack. We want to de-interlace this before it actually hits the slow motion. We really want to go back and do the same thing with the fast motion. So let's enable that. Right click here. Attach effect. Put in old de-interlace. And right click on de-interlace. Move up. Now we've got a wonderfully deinterlaced image in slow motion. Uh, get some cool stuff out there and let's see what you can do. See you next time.